The world watched in amazement as scientists revealed an ambitious project, relocating polar bears to the South Pole in a bold attempt to save this majestic species from extinction. But an unexpected accident put an entire ecosystem at risk. With the Arctic undergoing dramatic changes due to global warming, the idea was to give polar bears a second chance in a habitat rich with ice. However, what happened next was an unprecedented clash of ecosystems that no one could have predicted. Get ready to uncover this incredible story and understand how polar bears interacted with the dangerous predators of Antarctica, such as the leopard seal and the giant southern elephant seal. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Here, you'll find fascinating stories about the animal kingdom and uncover the wonders of nature. Now let's dive into this extraordinary experiment. Why relocate polar bears to the South Pole? With the Arctic's ice caps melting at an alarming rate, the natural habitat of polar bears is disappearing rapidly. Without enough ice platforms to hunt, many of these apex predators are starving. Scientists, seeking solutions to save the species, devised a groundbreaking approach, transporting a small group of polar bears to Antarctica. There, they would have access to a controlled environment to reproduce and thrive without the threat of warming temperatures. The bears were transported with extreme care, selecting healthy, young individuals to increase the chances of success. But what seemed like a promising solution quickly turned disastrous. The polar bears managed to escape into the wild and began exploring their new world, throwing the ecosystem into chaos. What would happen now? Extreme conditions. Could the cold be a problem? Polar bears are masters of surviving extreme cold. In the Arctic, they endure winter temperatures ranging from minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, with summer highs near 32 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the South Pole presents even harsher conditions. Winter temperatures, as low as an astonishing minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer averages, around minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit, still far colder than Arctic conditions. Although polar bears are well adapted to cold, such drastic differences demand a significant increase in caloric intake just to maintain body heat. This made successful hunting even more critical to their survival, leaving doubts about their long-term adaptation. Floating ice versus land ice, a radical shift. In the Arctic, polar bears rely on sea ice platforms to hunt seals and travel. In contrast, Antarctica's ice is land-based, covering mountains and frozen plains. This unique geography posed new challenges, requiring more energy for movement and survival. Additionally, seals in the South Pole have vastly different behaviors compared to their Arctic counterparts. With no terrestrial predators, Antarctic seals had evolved more carefree survival strategies. Initially, this made them easy prey for polar bears. However, over time, these seals could adapt, making hunting more difficult. Interactions with local wildlife, prey and dangerous rivals. The introduction of polar bears to the South Pole deeply impacted the local ecosystem. While Arctic wildlife includes seals, walruses, and Arctic foxes, Antarctic interactions brought a whole new set of challenges. Penguins, easy prey or strategic challenge? Penguin colonies quickly became an attractive food source. Without experience facing land predators, penguins became a viable target for the bears. However, hunting them wasn't always straightforward. Penguins spend most of their time in water, where polar bears can't reach them. Colonies were often located in hard-to-access areas, such as steep slopes or rocky regions. Other potential prey included seabirds, which might initially be caught by surprise. But over time, these birds could develop strategies to evade the bears, potentially leading to the extinction of some species that failed to adapt. Leopard seals, 
hunters becoming the hunted. In the Arctic, polar bears reign supreme, but in Antarctica, they encountered a fierce rival, the leopard seal. Size, reaching up to 13 feet in length and weighing over 1,300 pounds of sheer power and agility. Behavior, highly aggressive. These seals not only defended themselves against polar bears, but also attacked young or inexperienced individuals. On land, polar bears could outmaneuver even an adult leopard seal. However, in water, the roles were reversed. Leopard seals, with their powerful bite and aquatic advantage, posed a significant threat. While adult polar bears were unlikely to be preyed upon, they could suffer severe injuries during encounters. The Giant Southern Elephant Seal Perhaps the greatest challenge came from the male southern elephant seal, the largest pinup species, weighing six to seven times more than a polar bear. These giants can weigh between 3,300 and 8,200 pounds. This size difference made adult males virtually impossible for polar bears to hunt. On land, a polar bear would likely avoid a male elephant seal altogether. However, in certain situations, the bears could target seal pups or females when males were absent, though this still came with significant risks. The results of the experiment, success or warning. At first, it seemed polar bears could benefit from the inexperience of local prey. However, the extreme conditions, lack of floating ice, and fierce rivals made adaptation incredibly difficult. While some bears displayed an ability to adjust, most faced insurmountable challenges. The energy required to survive the extreme cold and hunt in such a foreign environment was overwhelming. Competition with local predators like leopard seals and elephant seals only heightened the struggle. Scientists concluded that, despite certain similarities, Antarctica is not an ideal habitat for polar bears. The experiment highlighted the critical need to protect the Arctic to ensure the survival of these majestic creatures in their natural home. What do you think? It's important to note that this story is fictional, designed to explore what could happen. But it raises an essential question. Is it worth risking the introduction of such an iconic species into a new environment to save it? Or should we focus our efforts on preserving the Arctic? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think polar bears could truly adapt to the South Pole? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more fascinating stories about the animal kingdom. Like, share, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.